Okay, so how do you use AirDrop with an iPhone 5? Okay, basically AirDrop is basically you want to transfer files from uh, one Apple device to another. So let me show you. My iPhone 5 is here and I'm going to transfer it to my iPhone 6. So first thing you got to do is you got to swipe up like this and you have to enable AirDrop. And I'm going to show you here. I'm going to take off Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth guys because I'm going to show you an example here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and enable the AirDrop on my iPhone 6 first. And when I enable it, and then uh, the contacts is basically if uh, you'll be only be able to airdrop for the people that you have in your contact list. If they're not in there, then you simply just click on everyone. And you do the same thing with this side as well. Now, when I click on everyone, it uses Wi-Fi Direct and your Bluetooth. So when I click on everyone, you'll see these two pop on. And the same here, I'm going to use airdrop. I'm going to click on everyone here as well. And you're going to see that the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth turn on as well. So let's do this. Let's transfer files. Uh, Let's go into the iPhone 5 and let's go ahead and tr transfer this, this photo here. So you want to click on this little share button down here. And then it says, okay, so this is the name of the phone. It's Virgil. You just want to click on that. And there we go. I'm going to click on accept. And bam, that's the phone. You can actually transfer like multiple images as well. Like on here, uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and transfer a uh, let's transfer a video. Let me go on my iPhone here, and let's transfer a video. Here's a video over here, and let's go ahead and transfer this to over here. So simply click on that share button again, and then we'll click on AirDrop. Click on Janet, and there we go. And then we'll click on Accept. Now another thing too to note, guys, the uh, iPhone. Uh, any the iPhone 5 and up, you, you automatically have AirDrop in it. But if you have a um, iPhone uh, 4 prior, you need to jailbreak it, and you have to have at least iOS 7 on your uh, on your device. And here's the video right here. So it's pretty cool. Uh, one more thing I I want to note is um, uh, with iPads and iPods, basically a iPod fourth generation or later, you'll be able to use uh, AirDrop uh, with the iPad mini as well. Also, if you have an iPod Touch, but it needs to be at least the fifth generation in order to have this AirDrop. That's pretty much it. If you guys have questions or anything, just comment below. All right, thanks. Bye.